Hello there everybody and today I am going to show you something about the Kengen water machine. Today we are going to check the hydrogen of the machine. So the best way that you can check that whether your machine, your Kengen water or your ionizer is generating hydrogen is very simple. Uh, just you need a tiny lighter and that's all what you need so first of all you need to start the machine okay so whenever you start your machine it is always advisable to use beauty water for at least one minute because what happens when you use beauty water the machine cleans itself that is that actually what happens the electrolysis is reversed so the drain pipe that uh, the acid hose actually generates 9.5 so it actually cleans the entire machine so every time I switch it on or every time I remove strong acidic water I make sure that I remove little bit of beauty water so for one minute you need to remove some beauty water then we can go for strong acidic water so when uh, we press the strong acidic button actually we are getting from here is the strong alkaline water and from the rigid toast we are getting the acidic water so hydrogen will always be there only in your high alkaline water or your alkaline water. The hydrogen will not be there in your reject water or the acidic water. So what you have to do, just have to take the lighter and start lighting the water. So you will be hearing some pop and some flashes. So I will show you. So whatever you are seeing this is all hydrogen whatever that is burning that is hydrogen so this water is rich of hydrogen so here we are checking the 11.5 water so the popping of the water that means the little little blasts that are happening that are due to the hydrogen so this water is having the highest amount of hydrogen so 11.5 is having the highest amount of hydrogen but it is not advisable to drink 11.5 so now we will check on 9.5 how much hydrogen do we see or do we get before that we need to clean the machine again we will have to remove little bit of beauty water so due to water my lighter is uh, not working because I think water might have gone inside so I'll get some another lighter. Okay, we have another lighter. So we'll now check with the 9.5. Sorry, this is not 9.5. Okay, so here we go for 9.5. In 9.5 it is very little let's try with another lighter so this is 9.5 and it is popping to a good extent so now we'll go for 8.5 to check whether we get some amount of hydrogen so I am change it to 8.5 so let's see do we get a hydrogen in 8.5 water it's almost not there so let's uh, try for 9 So for 9 we are hearing some popping sound 
at 9.5 we have a good amount of hydrogen so this is 9.5 and the maximum it is there in 11.5 but it is not advisable to drink 11.5 again for demonstration purpose you can to show the hydrogen you can use 11.5 to show the popping but for drinking also you are getting enough hydrogen in 9.5 so it is advisable to drink 9.5 so friends i hope this little experiment has shown you that yes this is a three plate machine this is the kangen level look junior machine and i have put a cover this is the level look junior machine so this is giving good amount of hydrogen even with a three plate model you can have good amount of hydrogen just you need to keep the machine clean the plates clean always clean your machine at least once a month with citric acid so you'll get good amount of hydrogen thank you friends thanks for watching and please subscribe please share this video and give me thumbs up if you like it thank you very much take care bye bye good day